Zombies in Africa. Again, as you saw, this video is by Anjo. Please go subscribe. Sicily, Italy. So, obviously, the zombies are all over the world right now. We don't know what's going on in Africa just yet. The outbreak started in China. It got to Europe. And now it's, like, going through the Pacific coast of the U.S. I think that's where I'm fighting. And because we're focused on Sicily at this moment, the zombies are probably going to go down to, like, Tunisia, Algeria. That's how they get to Africa. Obviously, there's... They're being overrun. Not super surprised about that. Ooh, the POV angles. Oh, man. Uh, there's also scary giant zombies. I don't think that's a specific giant one. That's just a scary one. He has a nice suit. It's obviously like a military... Oh, oh, is it? Oh, maybe it is a giant zombie. I can't really tell. Ooh! Okay, so I don't even know exactly. Is Sicily this green? Apparently, yeah, this is almost looking like Hawaii in parts. I knew Sicily had a lot of rough terrain, which would make things very difficult to fight zombies in. Okay, so he's probably dead, but he took out a lot of zombies in the process. At this point, every man, woman, and child has to kill at least like five zombies to stop the overrunning. Okay, here's the Italian military trying to say, roll away, bros, roll away. Okay, or hop away. Okay, these guys, these zombies are literally like bullet sponges at this point. That is not good for our country ball humans. I don't know exactly if I'm, I don't think I'm gonna pop up in the uh, Italian peninsula. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's dead. Dude, just take yourself out. Oh, dude, just take yourself out. The blood tears. Now that's pretty epic. Oh man, the slow transition of this. Oh, you're gonna eat your friend, aren't you? Wait, what? Oh. I'm now just wondering, will we get to a point where the series comes to an end? Are we going to be able to defeat the zombies? Or maybe there could be like a multiverse thing where like, where you have one plot line where you go down like the cure route and how to fix everything. And then obviously another plot that's just like pure chaos. Yeah, they have this like undefeatable uh, like tongue spike thing that... But I don't think... Can you not turn into a zombie after that? If they stab you with their tongue, you might not become a zombie afterwards. I don't know. That's a whole new element to uh, zombie science that I'm not sure if I've done my research in. Okay, so they're all getting to a boat. So th the Italians are going to be going to Africa, I'm assuming, these Italian citizens. And I'm guessing one of them is infected. I do remember zombies can walk underwater. Oh, okay, so yeah, the military zombie guy is going to take out his friends. Is this guy going to get to the boat, though? Oh, that, okay, that guy just got taken out by there. Oh, this is the one. You could already tell he's the one that's been infected, but he hasn't seen anything. Why does that always have to happen? We need to agree, all the humans, to not do that. Like, if there's a zombie apocalypse, just let us know if you got bit. We'll end it early for you. Oh. Did he make it? Oh, he did make- Oh, oh. So he's the one. Okay, okay, I guess that makes sense. Panic enveloped the island. This is like Walking People Dead, the country ball edition. Chaotically to Sardinia, Algeria, uh, Tunisia. And Libya, unaware yeah. that they are spreading a dangerous virus. Up until this point, I, I love discussing this. I love like talking about this series because it does make me think the geography implications of a zombie invasion. Obviously, this continent is massive, so they're going to see some successes and some failures. But I would actually think this continent would do pretty good depending on where you're focused on. There's literally a giant natural wall here with the Sahara Desert. I don't know if like zombies would melt in this desert. Maybe it's possible. Another interesting thing for the African continent is there's no people really living in the Sahara Desert. Definitely everyone in like Morocco, the northern coast of Algeria, Tunis, uh, and Egypt, they're probably all getting taken out. They got no chance. But everything in sub-Saharan Africa, it's gonna be interesting. Like I really don't see why a horde of zombies would just randomly start walking through this desert. I think they would like maybe mindfully go in circles, but I don't think they would just specifically head south. It's just too much land, too many miles. But yeah, as I said, focused on Tunisia and Northern Africa, all these people are done. Um, the thing that's going to be worrying for Sub-Saharan Africa is going to be like the maritime, the trading, all that sort of stuff. But let's see, maybe Tunisia stands a chance. Obviously, this guy's seen some action. Okay, so that's already some bad news. If you if you kill the four people or however many zombies just like landed on your coast, then you would be good. Yeah, but this yeah, we'll see. 
Again, like I said, Africa's huge. There's so many different areas to cover in Africa. I really want to see him go to the Congo. I think going into the Congo might be one of the best hiding spots on Earth. Like, besides New Zealand, because it's all in the corner. It's a giant jungle desert. Jungle desert? I don't think that, that doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Okay, we're going to follow the blood footprints. This is scary. Don't do it, bro. Don't... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. He just had to go and investigate. These zombies are awfully quiet. They don't make, like, a lot of... I mean, I guess they kind of do, but... Oh, oh, there we go. Stab him in the eye. Oh, I like that he just pulled out a gat. Where do you have that stored? It's another aspect of zombie invasions, like, what is the civilian firearm percentage like? Or is it even, like, legalized? How many people have weapons like these? Zombies won't be using them, obviously. Okay, well, this city's already getting overrun. They're done. I'm just trying to think who would do the best in the situation out of the North African countries. Maybe Egypt, because a lot of their population just kind of flows with the Nile. Morocco has some mountains protecting them, but they're also so close to Spain. I'm sure, like, some zombies would spill over. I would assume maybe the Egyptians would do the best. The problem is there's a ton of people that live here. A lot of zombie population could be coming out and then just kind of go along the river. Ah, I don't know, actually. The problem with all these nations is a massive horde of zombies zombies would send humans into the Sahara Desert where they'd have to survive. Obviously, that would not be very easy. That's where the U.S. has advantages. Take Going into now. the Cascadian uh, forests would be obviously now, a lot better you, than going to a desert. I got something for you. Like the AK. Take that. Nice. Whatever it takes. Is this guy still bleeding tears? I think they're all kind of bleeding tears at this point. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Nice. Who's gonna save the day, I wonder? Oh, he's he's good. Love the different architecture from these animations too. Oh, that's an Italian zombie. We can't stay here. That's we one of the original leave. ones, I think. I would not get too close to those bodies if I were you. Just in case. I know they have X's over their eyes, so in the country ball universe, they make it really obvious if they're actually dead or not. But maybe not. They might, that might not be the case. More Italians. Give them something, distract them. Pasta. Okay, that's already so many. That's such a huge horde already. Oh. Oh, oh, things just got epic. Got, oh, he's gonna blow himself up. That is... That is pretty awesome. Oh, man, they could so easily cut that off if the military worked fast enough because it's in the peninsula, but that's not gonna happen. Go on groups of organized checkpoints, oh. which have slowed down the Oh, okay, okay. Zombies, but it hasn't stopped the virus itself. Yeah. Signs of they probably start would. to appear among the residents of Tunis. Stretch over. Taking preventive action, the police have initiated a special operation to eliminate anyone showing symptoms of the disease. Oh, oh they're just old. However, not everyone was happy with this approach. And then there's going to be a revolt. Broke out among the living. Tunis got hit first. Their geographical location. Man, I wonder... Do these zombies raise the dead dead? Can we raise old Carthaginians? Bring back some, like, Roman bodies, too? I, I think the couscous was not fresh. <laughs> don't, don't believe him. I, just shoot him. Sick. Don't, just... Oh, boy. Hey, get yourself together. There's I love something that going on there. We're dealing with these different aspects of... Hey, you! Zo stop! Oh. You're infected and must be eliminated! What? We don't even infected. don't we even just, ask questions. Don't. You're just gonna have to shoot him. Just shoot him right there. If they look infected, boom. That'd be crazy. Feel well. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh wow, that is what, what I hell? literally said. What are you doing? To reduce the risk of disease spread, all sick people in the city will be eliminated. I thought he was gonna eliminated. shoot himself for a second. But, but that's absurd. He probably I will. Just, I just he's got dead. a cold. He's dead. He's dead. Then you pose a threat. <laughs> I like how innocent it really seems. It doesn't seem as dark as. You bastards! People, grab your weapons! Oh, 
Oh yeah, so now there's a big revolt to stop the authorities, and when you do that... Is it gonna be the tongue thing? Yeah. The tongue thing is unstoppable. <laughs> oh no! Behind us! I don't think anyone's managed to block that. Zombies! Run! Run! Let's get out of the city! Every, every society, every country is dealing with these same issues. Civilians flee to the mountains, forested area in the west. It really comes down to how rural your country is, because obviously the cities are done. From you don't want to be in the squad. cities. Among them are many infected. Tunis Indian. does have some green. As a result, the zombie army continues to grow. The forest it's not all just the hair desert, obviously. Breeding ground for the new horde, and the living become incubators for their eggs. Ooh, there are also those who head that's towards the Sahara Desert. That's new. The vast sands and the low number of people minimize the risk of infection. The desert dwellers responded but. to the news of the zombies by fortifying their settlements. The oh, that's an interesting. Greatly slow down the zombies, yeah. allowing them to be shot from the distance. The desert has become one of the few safe places on Earth. Ah. I mean, surprising. Okay, the Sahara Desert is hot, but there are parts that you could survive in. The average annual temperature is only 30 degrees Celsius, which is like 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously, you don't want to be dealing with that 58 degrees Celsius. Remember, though, it's a desert, so you are dealing with extreme heat, but also extreme cold. Here we go, back to America. It is Sacramento. Sacramento is where a lot of these issues are taking place. But again, it's like the whole Pacific coast, like I, like I said. They tried, I think the Americans built a so, wall. what's the sit rep? That's what we do. The city is scrolling with Our industry just builds things. That's how we won World War II. I guess that's what we're going to rely on in a zombie apocalypse. I don't think it's going to really work like that, though. Ask us to fortify ourselves at the gas station and wait for the armored group. Hey, look. Uh, there's definitely... I feel like some of the Stand zombies are starting to, like, fall apart. You know how, like, in zombie universes, as more of the timeline goes on, there's, like, grosser and grosser zombies because their flesh is actually getting older. We're almost there. I feel like that's starting to happen a little bit in this series. You're ready which I like, it's creepy. Nighttime is not a good time to be outside. Are they so they're reinforcing with extra supplies. Gas station. Oh. How much gas... I wonder how much would still be around. How how many gas stations would still work at this time? FedEx? It's nighttime. Maybe they should be using silencers. Just thought about that. Maybe don't make a large... Okay, well, we're, we're, we're making noise. Clear. That was easy. Oh, red X, not that X. Clear. How many do they have in this truck? Okay, guys, here's the plan. We're located oh. here at the gas station. This is, is Tango like a and video Charlie game. West of our position. Tango, Charlie. The armored group will arrive from the south. ATA is unknown. Saving Private Ryan. We need to set up observation posts in these zombies. locations. Large clusters of zombies have been spotted in the northwest of the city. Zombies just love to hoard up like that, don't they? Now, they're disorganized and aimlessly <laughs> I don't know. wandering I've the streets. Never had realistic it's quite possible that they might head towards us. Zombies. So stay sharp. <laughs> Try to always be on higher ground so the zombies can't reach you. All right, guys, let's get to work. Go, go, go! I feel like they shouldn't have got Jersey, out of the truck. You with the machine gun on the roof. Double time it. Roger that, sir. Get people on the roof. If, honestly, there would be thousands and thousands of Americans just posted up at Walmarts across the country. These would literally be the hubs of zombie resistance movements, especially because Walmarts in the South got everything. They got firearms, and depending on how many people your Walmart has in it, you know, you might be able to make those resources last for a long time. There's also Target, but I feel like Targets aren't, uh, aren't stored up as much as Walmarts are, especially like a Walmart superstore. That'd be scary to defend. That's a lot of territory. Oh, what the heck? That, that dude ate like eight bullets. What, the, what was that?
What? What's going on inside there? I thought we were going inside that house. Oh, we got it. We're bringing in the tanks. <laughs> I love the dubstep cuts. Oh, wow. These, these are some crazy edits. Don't even, don't even stop. Just roll, o roll over them. Normally, I've said many times before that tanks um, are, should be unstoppable against zombies, but this universe does have like crazy big uh, scary zombies. That's not that tongue thing. Go, go, go. I don't know how that, how the physics of that work. Is Sacramento about to be saved right now? Again, this video is by Anjo. Please go subscribe. And big thanks to my patrons this Drew, month. I'm your dad. Back with the milk. Look outside. Carino is best girl. The clone's training is complete and is Frederick I can't sleep Lad without Australia is real. I am not a paid the great Jack John, John's annoying Denver, friends. Sebi, if you hear this, I love you. Good old the Mexican 7, 6, 5, 6, 10. Norwalk. Rye, the pie. Caramel, Luxembourg S. lover. And why am I doing this?